Welcome to an extra special episode of Operencia, an episode that might be interrupted any moment by a phone call from my roommate. I don't know, depends on if they see this message or not. Uh, their very large snake has escaped into uh, hopefully just uh, a cavity under the sink and not like the ventilation system, but I guess we'll find out. Because <laughs> there's like this opening under the two sinks in the bathroom and I've always kind of wondered about that but boy does that turn out to be a Chekhov's gun because this like pretty long I think it's like four or five feet long snake just like kind of striped yellow and black uh or maybe gold and black I don't know it just just kind of saw the last bit of it slip into the hole and I'm like oh cool that's not very resolvable I tried sticking my phone camera in, and I don't see... I already can't see it. I don't know where it went. But the ventilation's cold, because it's the air conditioning's on, so I don't imagine it wants to go very far in there, so... I've just kind of put the dog gate over the opening, and we'll just... And it'll hopefully, like, the dogs won't get to it if it comes out, because I can't... I gotta get back to work, but I don't... Yeah, I don't have a plan for that. I don't have any... I have no idea what to do to lure the snake out, so uh, hopefully it'll uh, find its way out of there at some point, because it's not really human accessible. Anyway, enjoy that fun cold open to this episode. Maybe it won't have a payoff, or maybe it'll have a... Maybe I'll have a jump cut when I get a phone call or something. Uh, this is unexpected things to have happen during, like, a bathroom break. You're like, I'm just gonna wander over there, like I do, in a house that I'm in, and then just see a creature just having a fun adventure, and when it's not supposed to be uh, roaming. I'm not really afraid of snakes, so it's not that big of a deal, except for the fact that I'm, it seems like a big ol' snake that might be expensive or something, so I'd feel bad if something happened to it. Uh, I have the normal fear of snakes, which is that dangerous snakes are scary, but otherwise snakes are just an animal. Letter to Kevin. <laughs> it's really hard to transition back to work, but I literally don't know what else to do right now. <laughs> so I've notified them, they're not home. Uh, hopefully they have a plan. Or get back to me. Because I don't even know how to handle this creature, or let alone how to lure it out. Kevin, our fears are true. The king is dead, and he is to be buried nearby in a secret location. What a foul thing to happen on his wedding night. I trust no one here apart from you. In fact, you are the only one who will know to find this note here. I wish I could find you to tell you in person. There are two important tasks you must perform in Attila's name before anyone else arrives. First, take the topaz key and bury it in the island in the front of the totem. I will return for it later, if they do not find me first. Next, place the robe of Gonsol. Yay, we're still finding those. In a place only the king's beloved rooster can access. He was quite fond of that Taltos, as well as the copper chicken he once gifted him. Attila would appreciate such placement. Not that anyone will ever have access to it. I'm told that magical roosters be buried with the king as well. Hmm. Do I actually have to have access to the rooster in order to get it? Or is it just saying I need to have rooster-like powers? Roosters don't really have navigation powers. They're, maybe the golden rooster is pretty cool, but normal roosters are like, whatever. Let's see. Huh. So, a topaz key and a robe of gunsoul. I think I'm just gonna explore normally, and then I'll check back to see if I... I'll hopefully remember what the two items were that I was looking for, and we'll check we'll check in to see if I found them or not at the end. And then I'll look into if I need to do ad additional extra work to find them. Because oftentimes you can just kind of do the normal exploration, and you get lucky. Chest key. Neat. Time to do the thing that I said I would do, which is to leave immediately. So, copper forest deep in the copper forest. I want to get to... 
that one, which is near the right staircase ish. I want to be the one by the tree. There we go. I'm sure I can find it from there. Because we have that one chest, which I did not have a key for, but now I have a key for, so we'll see. There are so many animals in this house. There are several aquariums full of many types of fish of all sorts of varieties. That was startling. Uh, there's four dogs. There was a cat, but the cat's gone now. Not dead, just new home. Uh, outside, there's like a koi pond. You know what? YOLO. Ouch, I made a mistake. What? All right. How dare you? How incredibly disappointing. It's just a round shield and some money. That What? It's a It's a hype ass gold chest. And all you put in it was a, a round shield. Why do you do these things? Why? Hmm. All right, well, detour completed. That was disappointing. Get to the underworld. Bloop. And we're back to it. <laughs> Let's go back into Attila's tomb. Attila. The character that the various characters in the game can't agree on how to pronounce the name of, which I guess is realistic, because that's how reality often goes. But it's a little weirder in a game somehow. Can you even use those arrows in battle, Yoshka? Aren't they just decorative? Yes, but if the time should come for me to finish off a particularly despicable foe with one, I'm going to do it. Death in battle by housewares. How gloriously humiliating. How gloriously humiliating. Hey, Scalabro. Oh yeah, on top of the uh, various mammals and fish, there's also an uh, unknown number of spiders and snakes in my uh, roommate's room specifically, which means that's the highest because they're all contained within things. Those are the ones I have the least awareness of. Oh, and I think there's lizards too. I'm pretty chill with everything except for the spiders. I don't really... Given how this snake just got out, I'm not really looking forward to, like, my my upcoming surprise spider encounter when that one gets out someday. Because I really am not cool with spiders. So please, don't have that be a thing that happens in my life. I just don't need that. Alright, well that's the exit, so that's useless. That's an exit, and the other one's an exit. We're playing Pipe Dream! Pipe Dream, yeah! Who needs new puzzles when you can use other people's puzzles? <laughs> well, that doesn't go anywhere. Nope, none of these line up with that part of the room. Oh, if you're lonely. 
Uh. Nah, there's no other combination that works there. Oh, got a response. What? What snake was it? Nope, they want the bathroom door shut. I think it was black and gold. I guess I should have identified it from the beginning. I don't know. Pretty big is what I would say if I would describe it. Yeah. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should have closed the door. I have now closed the door to the bathroom. That probably makes more sense than putting the dog door over it. I guess part of me was just hoping it would, like, wander back out of the bathroom and back into her room. <laughs> and it would just be in the room it's supposed to be in, at least. But that was probably wishful thinking. So yeah, now the, gr now the, d the door is properly closed. So it's going to be contained there, unless it unless it can access the ventilation. That's the fun surprise, is that we don't necessarily even understand how this house works that well. Yay! So I don't even know if, like, inside there, if there is, like, can it reach the ventilation? Invisible ghosts wearing armor. What an outstanding reward. Hey, everybody, you look dangerous. Look at all your hit points. They have a lot of hit points. Did he say invisible ghosts wearing armor? They're very not invisible. They're blue skeletons. I can see them with my eyes. Get me summoning. I'm always surprised by the fact that they can counter me doing a summon. Let's see. Immune to fear and can't sleep. Let's do the fire trick then. Fire! Definitely start tanking. Alright. Now I'm just getting a series of crying emojis about the snake. This is. <laughs> the funny thing is, there's enough delay. Uh, it'll be days before this video comes out, so I can get like an update by then, probably, of what became of the snake. Like, if it's dead, or if it was found, or if it's still missing, or... Uh... I don't like, I don't like thinking about this. Bear mode. Whoop! You can use the resurrection spell now. That's killed a couple of them. Uh, we could spread some energy around. Uh, eh, it's not really worth doing the big attack. Katink. Yep, they weren't so tough. Shiny. Ah, it's the topaz key. No, it's a diamond key. Not even the topaz key. Uh, yeah, I can't pronounce that one. That's gonna be outside of my very limited expertise. Like, I've tried other ones, but oh, man. Okay. There's also some way to open this, and a whole bunch of fights waiting behind there. There's debris. I'm surprised there's wood on the other side of all the boards. I guess I wouldn't know what to expect. Where'd it gone that way? Hi? a large interconnected tomb, isn't it? Kind of goes all over the place. 
And there's the Dovahkiin. trying to open that without the right key and here we are needing a chest key again we're good at that not having keys it's like our specialty hello is this a bridge i can only open from this side i think so so neato now i got that there's more little men over there that want to hit me with things not big fan of them Hey, money. You can grab money from shocking distances in this game. Like, multiple tiles away, because usually it's secretly stacked in places you can only access that way anyway. Hmm, let's review the, the journal. Buried at the island in front of the totem. Oh. No, the notes aren't about this place, or they're not about that place specifically, I mean, they, they're about the entire level. Because yeah, the island in front of the totem, that's not in the crypt, it's probably right here. Reminds me I haven't used the shovel yet here. Oh yeah, you can see the pattern on the floor where the secret is. Topaz. The staff of the dead. You sound like you know this stuff already. What's its story? Its story is that I know nothing of it, and I just think the name is intriguing. That's not a very good story. It's not a very good story. Also, how does he know it's the Staff of the Dead? Could he see the item description? I have questions. I think that I want to know what the Staff of the Dead is. This is probably good for you. Shearbiak. Shearbiak. Are you better? No. Seemingly no. All right, stabs are in here. Twenty-five <gasps> percent life steal. In addition to being, it also does more damage and gives more energy and gives me crit damage and life steal. All right, I'm gonna use that for the rest of the game. No exceptions. Wow. Is my life steal like col like collective? I don't think life steal even goes on this. Oops. It'd be one of the things that change if I change this out. Energy, hit rating, no. So lifesteal's not even on this thing. I currently have... If they stack, I currently have 40% lifesteal. Which is... Astonishing amounts of lifesteal. It seems like it's getting smaller when I go this way. Yeah, I think it's basically in the room where we started. Oh wait, no, it's not the room where we started. I haven't been here yet. But over there is where I fought the dragon. And I think that's where the chest is. There's a few more of these. Hi! Where are you... This... Wait, did he lose me? I think he lost me. Choppy, 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 choppy. Can't even appreciate the life steal because she was unharmed. Oh, well, now I will. Unfortunately, damage over time spells do not life steal. And roll frightened. Good thing I got the big dot in before that started. 
Yep. The turns are getting... Their turns are very long. <laughs> I'm realizing part of what contributes to the idea that enemy turns seem so long and mine seem so short is the fact that I don't have uh, animations, mostly. Some of my spells... Some of my spells have longer animations, but a lot of the other... A lot of the time my characters don't actually have any animations. That guy didn't have a death animation. Huh. He didn't fall over. He just kept looking around, and then he disappeared. We're getting closer. Let's fill the map in. Oh, there's a little staircase over here. But yeah, it definitely contributes to the idea of, uh... You spending a lot of the time watching the enemy play, versus how much you spend picking your moves. Because your actions mostly are instantaneous when you click on them. Whereas the enemies have, like, big animations. We've made it. I could rest. Whatever. I've got a bunch of them, right? Ah. Well, now I know where the arrows go. One arrow. Three arrows, two arrows. I thought the icons would be indicative, but they all are, they're all three arrows. Something's gonna happen though. So I have three of the arrow iterations. Where you at? Some more over here. Nope, we're getting further away again. The hiding like behind here? Five meters. Zero meters. The crown of Attila. Is that an item that you can wear? 50% increased damage and 100% armor piercing against bosses. Damn. There's a set. Hmm. Wisdom, strength, crit damage, fear, and fire damage. First set, first piece of the set's not that great on its own, but collectively might be pretty cool. We'll see. Maybe it's a set I can actually wear with that character, unlike the other one. Oh, we're done with those. We should probably save. Um... Thanks? Are you gonna give me the wand now that I need to deal with that stuff? A magic wand? Yes. In the middle world? How interesting. Yep. There's the item we needed. And there's the emerald key. Okay, so now we have the magic wand. That was that at least showed up in like the last zone or so. Um Hmm. 
it toggles whether or not the animation's playing for the for the magic thing, I guess. Let's look at that map. I've seen magic wand before. Oops. External right click. No, I think it was the previous area. There it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it was that weird dead end cave. We still don't have whatever the turning thing is. We actually might have everything soon. Yeah, we're done to the last one. Just one more, and we'll have everything. Uh, it was like downstairs? In the bottom left corner. Alright, so we're end of this hallway. Soon I'll probably be able to 100% complete each zone. Ta-da! Are you still shooting periodically? You are. Okay, so there's something I want you to shoot, right? Seems like it always lines up with a particular piece of the grid. Do I just want it to shoot the door? Shoot it, shoot it. There we go. Um. I guess the trap's disabled now. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is a whole thing. All right. Four out of four secrets. So this should be the end of this entire map, too. Monk's robe and Hawthorne wand. Yep. And there's the threshold for finishing the map. Ta-da! Monk's robe has wisdom and intelligence and energy. Not bad. More emphasis on wisdom than intelligence, so I'm kind of... Set there already. You might want it though. Maybe not. I don't know. This is a cast of characters that kind of benefits from their brawn, isn't it? The Hawthorne Wand. Better in some ways, but not not better in casting stats. It's only better if I physically use it as a weapon, which I won't. Well, that's not going to do much for me. Alright, say goodbye to Copper Forest Main, or what do you want to call it, because we fully finished it. I don't really remember a previous... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember any other times we've encountered the 
wand. Something new has revealed itself. I think you'll like it. Something new has revealed itself? I don't see new. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. This was the way up. That's zero secrets, 100% completion. We're never going there again. That's completed completely. This one has two secrets left. Somewhere out there, there's more things to find. I could remember. <laughs> Where were the loose ends around here? Hmm. There's a decent chance I can access them by now. Let's go ahead and avoid that for now. We'll wait until I have every tool at my disposal, and then hopefully I'll be able to access everything in every level. Until then, I'm just gonna go after things that I can identify or remember. <laughs>